22nd on the grid, and Stingray Rob is upside down. Massive crash at the end of this race. Rossi, Ed Carpenter, and Kyle Kirkwood. Heading into the back straight, all sorts of chaos. Thank goodness for the arrow screen. He's I think so. But I think Kyle Kirkwood's pinned in there. The left rear of Ed Carpenter is in a very awkward position on the air hose for Kyle Kirkwood. He's, he, he's moving in the cockpit, but he needs to chill here and wait for the safety team to help. From where he's sitting, I don't think he can see that that tire is right above his head. He can't look up. AMR safety team quickly on the scene. He wants, it's so hot. As soon as you stop moving, it is so hot in those cars when there's no air. Kyle just desperate to get out to get some clean air, some fresh air more than anything, but he is trapped in there. They're gonna need to get a crane to get that car off. Amar safety team indicating they need help pushing, but there's so many safety team members tending to the inverted car of Stingray Rob as they'll take very good care to roll the car back over as gently as possible. Oh, wow. Kyle Kirkwood out, Ed Carpenter out. Haven't seen Alexander Rossi yet, but that's a relief for Kirkwood. And so too, Stingray Rob. Thank you to the AMR safety team doing their usual stellar work. You can see Stingray Rob talking with the AMR safety team inside the cockpit. There's, Ed, there's Alexander Rossi. Man, for as calm as things finished at the front with the top five runners, something went horribly wrong at the back of the field. This is what happened. This is our first look at it. Wow. Did Rossi run out of gas? Whoa, that oh, is my gosh. Airtime. Wow. For Stingray Rob, it, yeah, something clearly wrong with the seven of Alex Rossi. Slow off a of two. And these are just cars that were reacting because Rossi would have been spinning across the track. And I'm sure Kyle Kirkwood and Ed Carpenter, here's another angle. I mean, yeah, oh, Ed just losing it on his own. Same with Kyle Kirkwood, just getting on the brakes. When you see an IndyCar in the air upright like that, it, you tend to react in ways that might not be normal. Thing right coming back to you here, lap car. Got one in line here. Yeah, right, bud. What the f Yeah, Stingray. Yeah, fine. What if? Copy. Front really slow going into one. Whoa, big right, big right, big right. Back it down, back it down. Talk to me when you can, bud. All good. I'm just stuck. Get this car off me. All right, copy that. Copy that. Just sit tight, okay? Um, yeah, just hang on in there. They'll come get you. And they're going to have to come get you out of the car. So that's a 20 that's on top of you there. I, I don't know if you'll be able to get out. Ahead of you. I know Rossi was running out of fuel and uh, stayed online. He was going much, much slower. Uh, my spotter apprised me of the situation, but um, clearly it was a bit too late for Stingray there. Um, so ho hopefully he's okay. Hopefully uh, everyone that's gotten out is okay. Yeah, definitely a very, very scary wreck. Multiple times up in the air. Um, as soon as I saw that, the, the, they were actually slowing down so much because Rossi was already going slow and Stingray's in the air and he's pretty much like a parachute when you're sitting perpendicular to the road um, with one of these cars that I lifted out of the throttle, out of the corner, and then instantly spun myself. Um, yeah, so that's unfortunate. Sorry for the guys. We were having a good race there. Um, but, you know, I, we were actually still on the, the last lap, so we actually didn't finish that bad. I'm actually surprised looking at this scene that we finished 16th. So, um, yeah.
Uh, sorry to the guys. Hopefully everyone's okay. Scary wreck. Glad everyone is semi-okay. A lot of us are claustrophobic, too. When you're trapped in the car, and I'm sure it's boiling hot, what were those few moments like, and how anxious is that? Uh, I hate being stuck inside the car. Yeah. I, there's there's no doubt about that. When I was stuck in, in at Indianapolis upside down, the first thing that you want is to get out of the car. Um, and obviously the the safety crew came over there got to me within seconds and they calmed me down and said you're good we'll help you out we're here for you um so that was that was very calming for me um but no uh, initial thought when you crash and there's a car on top of you or you're stuck the last thing you want to do is be on fire and and uh that's initial instinct for a driver is just get out but uh, obviously these cars are so safe now to where we don't have to con be too concerned and obviously the amr safety crew was there for us in case anything was wrong so glad you're okay thank you kyle thank you